My name is August Brunsman. I'm the Executive Director of the Secular Student Alliance, and I support Openly Secular Day. I'm Amanda Meskis. I'm the Executive Director of Camp Quest, and I support Openly Secular Day. My name is Bishop McNeil. I am the Political Coordinator for the Center for Free Thought Equality, and I support Openly Secular Day. I'm Ron Lindsay. I'm President of the Center for Inquiry, and I support Openly Secular Day. And on Openly Secular Day, I'd like people to invite others to ask them about their secular identity and start conversations. Because by having person-to-person -person interactions and conversations, we dispel a lot of negative stereotypes about our community, and that paves the way for real cultural change. Too many people still harbor prejudice against non-believers, and one reason they have that prejudice is they're not acquainted, or they don't think they're acquainted, with atheists or humanists. And the more people who come out and show these people that, yes, your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues at work are atheists and humanists, and they're good people, the quicker these obstacles to acceptance, these prejudices will disappear. My name is Rebecca Hale. I am president of the American Humanist Association, and I support Openly Secular Day. My name is Roy Speckhart. I'm executive director at the American Humanist Association, and I support Openly Secular Day. My name is Sarah Hader. I am a director from Ex-Muslims of North America, and I support Openly Secular Day. My name is Glenn Love, and I'm the vice president of the Free Thought Society, and I support Openly Secular Day. My name is Mandisa Thomas, president of Black Nonbelievers Incorporated, and I support Openly Secular Day. Black Nonbelievers brings out more nonbelievers in the Black community and it helps increase the visibility of atheists and nonbelievers of color. There are a lot of us out here. We want to inform that our, of our existence in our community so that people will know that there is nothing to be afraid of, that you can be Black and atheist or a nonbeliever at the same time, and that we care about humanistic causes and uh, in, the, in the world around us. My name is Debbie Allen. I'm the local director of the San Diego Coalition of Reason, a board member of the American Humanist Association, and I will be an open atheist on Openly Secular Day. I'm Jason Torpy, president of the Military Association of Atheists and Freethinkers. I will be an open humanist on Openly Secular Day. I'm Bonnie Cousins, I'm Executive Director of the Society for Humanistic Judaism, and I will be an open humanistic Jew on Openly Secular Day. I'm Herb Silverman, President of the Secular Coalition for America, and I support Openly Secular Day, and I will be pointing out that I'm an atheist on Openly Secular Day. It's important because if we come out as secular to others, it puts a human face on secularism. It shows people that we're everyday folks, just like everybody else, and that we shouldn't be treated differently just because we're secular. On Openly Secular Day, I hope everyone in the United States military will go and get their tags changed from either atheist or humanist, as they so choose. And if you're in the Air Force, or the Navy, or the Marine Corps, and you're told no, that you can't identify as humanist, I hope you go to your Equal Opportunity Office and your chain of command and demand that right to identify as who you are and to be openly secular. My name is Margaret Downey. I'm the founder and president of the Free Thought Society, and I'm going to be a very proud freethinker on the Openly Secular Day. My name is David Silverman. I'm president of American Atheists, and I will be an open atheist on Openly Secular Day. My name is Amy Monsky. I'm the Executive Director for Atheist Alliance of America, and I will be openly atheist on Openly Secular Day. My name is Tony Van Pelt, and I am the President of the Institute for Science and Human Values, and I am going to be an openly secular humanist on Openly Secular Day. It's important because we have to recognize that secular humanist rights are human rights in this country and around the world. I'm Robin Blumner. I'm the executive director of the Richard Dawkins Foundation for Reason and Science, and I will be an open atheist on Openly Secular Day. My name is Minga Futrell. I'm the executive director of the Brights Network. I support Openly Secular Day, and I will be an openly secular bright on Openly Secular Day. On Openly Secular Day, 
I would like people to wear their atheism on their sleeves literally. Put on an atheist t-shirt, a big loud atheist t-shirt, and walk out in public, walk to a mall, go to the airport, go wherever you would normally would go as an open, outed, loud and proud atheist. And you'll see some really positive reactions from the people you meet.